Hey, what's up, you guys? So this is kind of an unboxing, a little bit, I guess you could say. But it is a review in the blast. So, I have Z2 pack, which I have not taken to figure out yet. But I have cat. Power ready. So, see, I got it at Walmart. There's a clearance, so if you're looking to get this, this is a clearance. For some reason, Walmart had this at $50. I don't know why. Usually it's just at 40, but okay. So let's get the rest of the things out. Get bones. Kind of want to watch so for it. So there's crossbones. Looking nice and dandy. And Part of the reason why I got this thing. Is what I wanted. Come on. Okay, give me a second. Okay. So there is here's the box. So I did get the heads out by the way. Struggled, but here's the Chris Evans head. But I will tell you the reasons real quick. The reason why I got the Captain America was, one, because this is a really nice Captain America, and it's probably one of the best Captain Americas they've done from the MCU. Now, the other reason is because the two heads, and even the shield, I kind of want to give over to my other Captain America. Maybe I won't, but this Captain America as well, I want, I've always been thinking of like a custom of a Winter Soldier Captain America, so, anyways. So here's the box, there's a clearance logo of the Marvel Studios. There's you know labels and stuff, Civil War, because this is the 10th anniversary one. We got artwork on the side. Um, and I think if you get all of the boxes, you make this like little collage. Anyways, so Captain America Civil War. Although the Avengers survive an attack of crossbones on Lagos, those of the civilians are killed and the altercation as a result. The team is presented with the Sokovia Accords, an agreement designed to keep the heroes in check. You must individually choose which side of the law they stand with. So, that's the movie thing. And there's a poster on the back, Marvel Studios, Marvel Legends, and it has bios for both of the figures. Captain America. America's first super soldier, Captain America, must decide if he stands by his government in the aftermath of a disaster strike on Lagos, Nigeria. Crossbones. A Hydra agent and former double agent at S.H.I.E.L.D., Crossbones makes it his mission take out Captain America no matter the loss of life at stake. So, um, let me get the chips real quick. Here's Cap. I know you see the inside of this year, you don't see the outside right now, but it's just the pose I have them in. I'm just trying to get these guys to stand up. I don't really co care what pose they're in. Come on, Crossbones. Okay, there we go. So here's Crossbones and Captain America. Personally, I'm excited for both of these figures. Crossbones is a new villain, and he's a really awesome villain in the MCU. Captain America is obviously Captain America, and I really like this figure. So, let's take a look at Crossbones first, because he's a newer figure, and also because I really like Captain America. So, look at the accessories aside. So, his only accessory is this unmasked head. I do believe you can take the little gauntlets off. Unfortunately, you can't take the gun out, which would have been awesome I do believe you can also take the vest off but personally for me I'm not going to but I'm sure if you took the vest off and the gauntlets off and put this head on you could probably have your own agent Rumlow so so there we go I'm not gonna take these off but to before I do anything I will let you know that he does have wrist articulation and stuff like that so don't worry about that uh, 
So Crossbones, his paint is really cool. Looks really just like the movie. Oh. I put the other head on. So, and there's the other head. I'll keep it on for the rest of the review mainly. So, this paint is really well done. You know, you see all the white, even on his mask. It looks really well done. I'm glad they have uh, crossbones in the MCU. So, yeah, there isn't much paint, but for what it is, it's pretty good. So, articulation. His head can move up that far. Like that far downward. Can move his shoulders can move up that far. I could probably move up higher if these weren't in the way. He has these little gauntlets which move around. And the there is a double jointed elbow, but of course it has the gauntlets. And he has a wrist and hinge. He has a wrist swivel and hinge. Uh, he does have an ab crunch, but you can't do it because of the vest. He does have a waist swivel though. His legs can go out that far, can go back that far. It's a upper thigh swivel, double jointed knees, and I don't, actually there's no boot swivel, but uh, his ankle can move down that far, up that far, and his ankle pivot. So I can't remember what this actor's name is but they did this figure really well so and funny enough if you guys know Shardim's Prime uh, he re his this guy's actor uh, his kid watches Shardim's Prime videos so I find that pretty funny can you imagine that a celebrity watching your videos or at least their kid watching their videos awesome so obviously Here's Captain America, aka Chris Evans, aka the one that's possibly not going to be coming back because his contract's up. But we'll find that out tomorrow when I go see it. Let's just say this figure is really awesome. They did the paint really well on here. The only problem with the paint, if you can see it, the Avengers A logo on this side is scuffed off. But the other one's fine. Um, comes with two accessories. Of course, a shield, which I don't really need to show you guys. You can just slide it on. You can go far up, far as up as you po possibly can, and that's like the best bet because that's how he holds it, and he holds it really well. And then here is his alternate head. Which I kind of want to switch on right now. So I'm going to. But I'm probably going to put the other one back on. Boom. Come on. I'm gonna pause. So here's the head on. It's quite a tough thing to get on. So if you possibly can warm this up so it might be easier for you. But I had a hard time probably. It didn't take long, but still had a hard time. It looks pretty good. Especially on camera. It looks better on camera, does it? Actually, it looks better in real life. Never mind. Well, so this is Captain America, and I really like this cap. Um Um, so, to be fair, like, this figure is probably, like, the best Captain America we've ever gotten. Like, this figure is, like, really awesome. Um, Obviously, I don't really need to go over the bio for this guy. I read it off here, but I really didn't need to go over it because, you know, 
If you're a Marvel fan, you know Captain America. So articulation, his head can move up that far, move down that far, can move side to side. I forgot to show that on the other one. <laughs> Shoulders can move up that far, down that far. You got a bicep swivel. He does have a double jointed elbow, but on his, uh, if he have a shield on his arm, you can't do that. He has a wrist hinge, but he also has a swivel, which you can see still. Um, he has an ab crunch that go only goes that far. I don't know if it can go more, and I just can't do it or not. Uh, it goes back that far. He's got a waist swivel. His hips can move up that far. You got a up oh come on upper thigh swivel got double jointed knees and he's got a boot cut and his ankle is up that far up that far and he's an ankle pivot so do a size comparison I guess between the two so out of the two I obviously like Captain America more. Uh, but I will say it's happy to have another villain. Um, funny enough, I got this from my grandma. I'm really happy I did. Civil War, like, kind of foot book that you can look through. So, if you don't know the other part of me, it's, I, I'm, I'm a, a histor hi history buff. So, personally... I'm happy to have these figures. You know, again, I will remind you guys, this guy, th this is 25 bucks. Um, more like 20, more like 27, really. But, um, nonetheless, it is definitely a lot cheaper than 50 bucks. So, you see it in the clearance aisle, and you want it, get it. Because it is a very good set, because one, you get... You get an awesome crossbones. And then you get probably one of the best Captain Americas they've ever given us. So. Uh, and by the way, in case you're wondering, because they have numbers on these, this one is number nine in the series. There's only one other set that I would like to get from the series. Or at least the two packs. And that would be uh, Yellow Jacket and Ant-Man. Um, other than that, uh, I don't want any of the two packs. But the rest of them, I want probably, I want that, uh, a, a couple of those red skulls so I can have a Hydra army. And I can have this guy fight him. Um, so, there, I can tell is, I think Chris Evans is taller, uh, and that's just by the figure wise, so. This that I really like, I definitely recommend it. Uh, hope you enjoy this review. I'm going to try, not tomorrow, because it will be late when we get home, but on Sunday, I'm going to try to do a, uh, a review of the Avengers Endgame, because I'm going to go see that tomorrow at 7 p.m., but I don't know what theater we're going to. Grand. Oh, Grand? Okay, Grand Theater. Reclining seats. Reclining seats. Uh, so... I definitely save. I try to save my money as much as possible today. I didn't buy any other figures, um, because one they kind of cleared it out, but I have an idea of why. You probably can guess why. Endgame waves, but because I do want some popcorn and some drinks, uh, probably more than usual because it's going to be longer. So, but anyways, hope you enjoyed this review. If you did, like, subscribe. Uh, tell me what you think of this. Uh, uh, this pack, I really like it, and yeah, so I'll see you in the next one, guys.